Automation is a hot topic in UK manufacturing today. I'm here in St Neots at Cambridge Precision where they have invested recently in Mill CNC's automation, their Doosan Cobots. Nick, as operations manager here at the company, how involved were you in the purchase of this solution and why was this particular cobot specified? Uh, I was very involved. We, as a team of people, visited Mills uh, and we saw the cobot in operation and we thought that would be ideal for what we need. And why was this particular model, the uh, MO617, selected? Uh, purely and simply because of the length of the arm. It means that we can do a full table of parts in a night. Uh, we did originally go for the smaller one, which had the smaller reach, but had a heavier payload. Um, but we felt with the size components we're working with, uh, length was better than weight. Uh, we've been very pleasantly surprised at just how easy it works. It does exactly what, what it should do, and that is keep things simple, move apart from A to B, and repeats it every time. I want to learn a little bit about the integration as well. How much needs to be done to the Doosan machine in order to get this fully operational? Uh, prior to the Cobot being installed, there's two or three days work on the machine, which means the auto doors, uh, some of the control system needs to be looked at. Um, but to be fair, Mills have got that button now. They've got a team of people and that's all they do. And for you, return on investment, have you been pleasantly surprised at what impact this has had on the company? And if so, what are the main highlights for you? Uh, yeah, it's, um, we were looking at just over a year payback. Um, with the success of the project, uh, how well the machine's running, it ran over Christmas, a week and a half with, with no problems whatsoever. Uh, so we're now thinking it'll be about 11 months to get payback. And the Doosan DNM machines, incredible vertical machining centres, you really can push them and, and get fantastic productivity. Do you really push it to its limits here, this cell? Uh, no, in the, in, initially that was the plan, um, but what we found, uh, we're better off backing off 10% and then getting the full nights running. In the early days, we pushed a machine as hard as we could, um, broke a tool, surface finish went off, and we lost a night or two. And when you're looking at eight to 10 hour slots, we, we found it best off just making sure, bigger picture, get a full night's running and run it 10% slower. So what you're gaining is far more than what you're losing? Without a shadow of a doubt, yeah, definitely. Uh, the future, uh, you see many more of this type of solution here at Cambridge Precision? Uh, automation, definitely, whether it's in the form of a cobalt or maybe stepping up to the next one, which is the uh, industrial robot. Uh, but yes, definitely automation. Uh, for us, it all comes down to the work. If we continue to do this size work, this type of work, cobot all day um, if we if we're looking at bigger parts uh, bigger bits of material we may have to go up to the a 20 kilogram robot the maximum the cobot does is 15 kilograms and it's fair to say Nick you actually went to Mills CNC to look at a, a, a different machine didn't you to what you've actually uh, ended up with yeah uh, what we found when we visited the showroom the cobot was an offer and this really suited our application much, much more. Uh, and it was a very pleasant surprise. We didn't go there looking for it. Um, we saw it running, saw the demo, applied that to what we, the requirements we had, uh, and it's the best thing we've ever done. And, and would you say that this is, uh, this is a really good illustration of, of how diverse Mill CNC's solutions can be? So however the demands from your customers change in the future, they'll probably have a solution for you, won't they, one way or the other? Definitely. When the, the automation side that I've seen at Mill CNC is growing very, very well, and there are applications which I would never even considered six months ago.